So the second uh, thing what I want to uh, show you here is our um, joint master of arts, which is called Global Public Health. And this is a joint master degree. Um, we want to do together with a Finnish university. So what does it mean joint? Joint means in this case that it's not only us who is providing the master, it's together with another university. In our case, it's a Finnish university. We want to do it together, or we are doing together with them. And you, you have teachings from the University of Savonia, which is from Finland, but also from our side. So you can imagine that at the end, you have teaching from both universities, and you will get a degree at the end from both universities. So not singular degrees, but one degree where you have where you have the logos and all the things you need here from both universities. Also, the course language is here in English, but of course you can also participate on German language lessons um, if you want. The period of application is here from 15th April to 15th of June. So please be careful. This is about. Uh, this is because we are, have here a joint master, so we have an earlier end of our application period. Um, the start of this uh, study program will be also October, and we have no admission restrictions. And um, all modules can be attended together via virtual lectures, so we have here virtual lectures, but on the other hand, uh, we have also have summer and winter schools. The winter school will take place here in Germany, and the summer school will take place in Finland. Um, and here, uh, an attendance yeah, would be um, great, I would say it like that. Just to have an overview, what it, or a, to, to have an introduction, a feeling what we want to taught uh, teach here in our master program so we have the global public health course we have a part of digital health and of sustainable health economy which is in the first semester and then we have three electives and here in this part you can choose from uh, six to ten elective it depends a, a little bit on the semester um, you can choose and pick one which you're interested in for example, gender equality, for example, what was it, knowledge-based systems, for example, um, I don't remember exactly. So you have, you can, you have uh, five to 10 electives, and then you can choose uh, one, uh, three different electives you're interested in. in. The second part, we have the global public law and ethics. We have a very interesting thing of epidemiology and health data analytics which is very interesting according to the pandemic and um, epidemics. Um, so, which is very, very interesting here also for physicians. And then the last one would be the universal health coverage. Sorry for this uh, typing, type error here. And again, then you have five to 10 electives where you can choose um, three electives from them. And then in the last semester, we have research methods and writing skills that we prepare you again for the master thesis. And then, of course, you will have the master thesis. Yeah, what to do um, after your study program? Yeah, you can start working in the health planning and health management, health promotion, prevention, human resource management, in administration, in marketing and controlling. You can work in health management in companies or in international organizations like UNDP, UNFPA, WHO, and many, many more. So you have a great possibility, and this study program is yeah, very helpful and useful, especially for students with a medical background. Also, how it would be the path here to become a student for the Global Public Health at the European Campus Rotor Inn. So first of all, you need a bachelor degree with 210 ACTS, but we can also do some uh, yeah, acceptances uh, according to 180 ACTS. Then you need a minimum of two years relevant work experience. So part-time could be also credited. 
Um, you have to apply until 15th of June. Then uh, we have a short 30 minutes written test. It's only, don't hear about the test. The written test is just to know um, if you can write and a general understanding. Um, after the test, you will be uh, invited um, for an interview, if you pass the test, of course. And then in the interview, we are asking you some questions. And here you have the possibility and the chance to convince us that you become a uh, student here at our European Campus Rotterdam faculty. And then we welcome you here in our joint master program. Yeah, why to come why to come to us? The European campus is internationally known due to the English degree programs already offered. Um, we have a broad experience in virtual teaching, collaborative classes, for example, with Spain, with Finland, with Germany, or virtual guest lectures from Norway, from Ireland, from Spain, from Finland, um, and also from the Arabic world or from the African world. And you can we have a usage of specific equipment, for example, virtual reality, augmented reality, or mixed reality. We offer an excellent equipment here, for example, in the or especially in the digital health and smart tourism lab. And finally, the European campus is a multicultural and diverse family. So I hope, and I think also Professor Chartikian, my colleague, we hope that you will join us and you will apply for one of these three um, study programs. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope we will see us in October.